Hello, it's the Dan and Grandma and for another, uh, and for today's video, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the Witch Broom in Dying Light, which is not a weapon you're supposed to have, but you can glitch it through, and it's actually kind of simple, so look, Witch Broom, although if you have it equipped, like where your grappler or throwing knives and everything should be, it does automatically take you off once your stamina is full, so you kind of got to worry about that. And then if you go too high, you sometimes get stuck. Like in these air currents. It's kind of hard to fly at night, but... And, it, and it's very easy to escape with. And it's basically like the paraglider, but you can go up with it on your own. And all you need to unlock is the broadcast mission. Or if you can somehow get. Okay, hold on. So you gotta switch it. But you have to either do the broadcast mission or. Or you have to. Um, Or you can somehow climb up there. I don't know, I've seen a couple videos and they're trying it like you gotta have a lot of stamina and you gotta do some weird wacky stuff for it. But once you do complete it, you'll be able to go up to the VNC tower through the elevators. So you can just go up through the elevators. So like, that's it right there. Although, if you lose stamina. Oh, wait, whoops. The Harry Potter mobile. Away. Oh, uh, but you need it for basically everything. You need uh, you need that VNC tower unlocked for the Doom Easter egg. For this Easter egg, the Bubba Yaga Easter egg. The, like, the witch broom type Easter egg. And then you need it unlocked for the for the Korok charm, which I'll do another video on that. Hold up. So if you've never heard of the Korok charm, this is what it does. So look, it's uh, 150 durability, and uh, and you can also get these. See, like I'm a level four. But I got this when I was a level two. I got I you can easily get level nine weapons. All you need is some lock picks and go to a certain area that I'll show you later on. But see like it's a hundred fifty. All you gotta do is modify, go to charms, core rock. Bam, it's fully repaired. And then you can do that for almost every weapon. Okay, no, stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop taking off like that. Yeah, bro. So it does get a little annoying. Now take off. Thank you. Unknown location. Oh, yes, yeah, you can also use this for the windmills. So this is just very useful for basically everything. So now you got like a shop and vendor and everything. And then you just fly away on your broom. You see, like, it sometimes acts like one of those. You know, so it, sometimes it gets stuck because you're not supposed to have it. But only, like, really high in the sky, I found. So these areas you shouldn't be able to get to. Oh, yeah, and then this also makes it way easier to do that liquidator. Kyle Crane secret type of event. Oh, frick. 
I have to save it. Okay. And voila. Okay, I don't know why I'm making this so hard on myself to try to get up here. I'm just making the video longer. Okay, no, I don't. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. You know what? Oh, okay. You know what? Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I can't see anything at night. Yeah, see, look, this is exactly where I wanted to respawn. So if you fail getting up to the VMC tower, you almost likely to respawn there. Actually, no, because it depends on if you have it or not. But, okay. That, that first part was just me showing you what it does. But now all you need... Um... Yo, stop. Stop. Yo, where's the fancy tower at? Oh. Actually, I want my Harry Potter mobile. Bro! These stupid zombies, they appear out of nowhere and they're annoying. Why should we go through the loop? Got it. I am Batman. Hey man, I'm Tarzan. So it sometimes gets annoying when it purposely does it. Okay, so all you gotta do, go into the central lobby, call the elevator. And then I'll, I'll come back when it's actually here. Okay, I just got in the elevator, and see like, you, there's gonna be, you can click the basement the normal area and then you can click the roof you gotta you gotta make sure it says VNC tower roof and then it should take like probably like two minutes for you to get up there and I'll cut back to when it actually happens okay I'm at the roof and basically all you gotta do is see like well this is where you get the Korok charm you gotta go down there you gotta do all that but that's where you normally go but instead you gotta go over here and see what you gotta go over there and then I'll show you what it looks like without using this freaking thing so all you gotta do is kinda you just gotta go if you see this thing all you gotta do is land on this once you've landed on it go down here and then you should be, it's, it should say, uh, uh, I believe use or press or something. So if I use it, it starts the challenge. But, uh, so it should be one mushroom and it should take around like three minutes to fully get it to where you can use it. And then all you gotta do is go through the mission. You just gotta go through all the checkpoints. Go through like 11 of the checkpoints and then quit. Just so it has like enough time to save, go through like eleven of the checkpoints, and then just uh, and then just right here, just press quit, and then log back in, and then you should have it in your inventory. If you don't, you could try it again because it doesn't reset, but you can try it again and see if that works. But I mean, that's uh, pretty much all. Oh, I have one more thing to show you though, and this is how to get level nine loot. And you can get this really early. All you gotta do 
Let's see, look, you gotta just go down to right here. All you gotta do is go down to right here. It may be <coughs> blocked off a little bit, but. And then you just gotta act. remember to activate that Night Runner hideout, though. So, this is all level 5 area, but you don't have to deal with really anybody unless you walk on that bridge. Because for some reason, all the drowners are dead. But, hold on, I'm gonna get down to ground level before I, you know, die. Will I make it, though? Sure. Um, okay, here's the automobile. See, look, it's meant to be a paraglider. But. Bro, stop. Don't even care if I take fall damage. It's all your fault, you stupid Harry Potter mobile. So it does kind of get confusing at times, but see, like, once you grab that Harry Potter mobile, it actually makes this um, a little faster to get over here. Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna stop it, and then I'm gonna keep running, and then I'm gonna... And then I can make it over to the Harry Potter airdrop. Or not the Harry Potter airdrop. Speaking of too many phrases. Let's see, look. You should. All you gotta do is look around with binoculars for these. I found five of them. I have no clue if there are any more, but... Look, and then once you've already opened them, see, look. Uh, right there, morphine. And then you can get like tactical kit or something. So you can get armor, but how you get the weapons? Let's see. Look, then uh, two of the ones near the end give you like level seven, but these three give you like level nine. And see, like all you gotta do is once you unlock it, just continue swimming this way. But what I'm gonna do? Dang it, it almost worked. Can you stop? Don't. Can you stop? See, look, this is where the next one is. And then there should be one right next to it, too. There's also a Antison drop somewhere over here. But I don't know exactly where it's at. But once you've airdropped them, they respawn like every 30 minutes. So just come grab them. And see, look. Right there. A level 9 thing. And then morphine's really good. Because you could sell it for like 700 bucks. So morphine. If you get morphine, you're getting lucky. You've got that lucky drop. So look. It should probably take around like a couple minutes to claim all these, see like one right there, and then I go to this one, and then you can go to these, and then I believe that's another one, that I haven't done, but, so, and then once you are, although these are very hard locks, so having upgraded lock picks wouldn't hurt at all. It'd be pretty good, honestly. Like, my lockpicks are, like, level three. No, I think they're, like, level four or something. Let's see, like, you get morphine. And then you can get some... Ooh, surgeon gloves. Ooh, level nine surgeon gloves. Oh, wait, that was nothing. Let's see, like, then you just continue swimming. But if you do unlock this area and have it drain, it's gonna make it a little harder because you're gonna have like boss characters. But when you have that level nine loot, it doesn't really matter because you can dodge and smack them in the. No, stop.
Okay, am I going the correct way? Yeah, but see, like, all you gotta do is just, okay, all you gotta do is just go to those four, and pretty much that's about it, but that's all for today's video, remember to like and subscribe.